Welcome to episode 7 of official small tribes. For today, I have this good two saw saddle because my two saw is grown now. We have an OP two saw ready to use. And one tribe mate got some insane loot. We have a tech chest BP with 758 durability, but it wants 230 elements to craft. That's pretty expensive for us. I'm gonna store this and rest of the stuff in our BP vault. We're starting to look like a rich tribe. Day 3 already, the clock is ticking really fast. Let's go out with my awesome Barcelo and get some moin bullets. But this time, I want them to get out and chase me. I have a surprise for them. We're going as a duo to soak more turrets faster. So, here is the surprise. I'll place few turrets here, and if someone chases us, we're just gonna swim here and take them down. It'll be an easy trap. I saw some movement of that Tusa, but it has no rider. I think they put an aggressive Tusa to protect their dinos. If it was a man Tusa, their timer should be very recent. Well, I think this Tusa is on neutral. So I'm just gonna lure it away for now. Alright, let's hope some of them notice us and tries to chase us. Well, our Basilos are almost out of HP, but no sign of any Moin members. I don't know if they are gonna show up or not. Should we go and get some more Basilos and drop this? Maybe we should have done that. While we were going back to hill, we found a 140 for the wild Tuso. We have a turtle for Tuso to grab. Taming Tusos are easier than expected. You just need a high HP tame. It can be a land or a water tame. The Tuso needs to grab the tame and then you can feed it some black pearls. It's usually done first time you feed it, but it's a high level so I had to feed it twice. When the Tuso grabs something, it doesn't do area damage, so you you can easily get close and feed it. Little Beaver, welcome to our underwater vacuum base. I'm sure you'll like it. So I have some element and I'm gonna craft vacuum compartments for our new base in another Valgero server. That's about it, this should be enough for the new base. I'm not gonna set a full turret wall. I feel like this spot is pretty hidden, so we could build up the turret wall in time. You should never do this by the way, always start with a good turret wall. So this is server 79. I came here to ask if I could build here to Frenchie, but he wasn't here. Also, Sherwin wasn't here, but I had a chance to talk with Scope. They usually run together. Anyway, he said as long as we don't cause any troubles on the server, we are welcome to build up. And that was enough for me. I just started building the same thing in the same spot. Here I am building the same thing again. Since I already did this in the episode 3, I'm gonna skip this part. You can go and watch that if you like to see some more details. 
all right it's done all these open space looks perfect for a teleporter right and here is me crafting the teleporter but bad news even though i see green it doesn't allow me to place a teleporter it would be so perfect if we could have a teleporter here Anyway, here is my perfect wheel of babies. 111 HP, 94 stamina, and 166 melee. Rest of the stats are zero, like literally zero. And others also have some weight as well. And our transmitters keep getting attacked by Moin and their allies and I keep repairing them rebuilding them just like that I was fixing this cliff plat transmitter then I got a message from discord that we just got raided we lost our underwater base on server 79 the server that we were actually allowed by the alpha tribe can you imagine that i just built that thing so i got here as quickly as possible and i see no beds in the base location i had a raft with some beds so i spawned there to check the logs and apparently we got raided by the other alpha in this server oil cave and the spider cave is owned by the same tribe so i assume it's just one alpha tribe here but in this server too we have two big tribes there is an ab zone tribe and they did not know about us so they destroyed so many vacuum compartments but since they left few i could use that snap points and build the same exact thing easily i did scout around our base so that means i must be blind how did i miss this thing it's really close to our location so when one of them saw our base with only few turrets they just wiped it i was not expecting something like this but anyway we talked about it and we're gonna rebuild the base in a few days we gotta get structures first we're back on extinction but no worries we're not here to farm element dust with a doit everyone is on a mana we have come here with manas to do an ost or something maybe an element way and things did not go as planned my tribe mates likes manas they don't like pt snow owls and griffins so here we are getting picked easily and that's it for this adventure So, results of our hard work, a lot of willow eggs, and a lot of basilo babies. But I'm gonna raise the basilo babies, I can't have enough basilos. Also, crystal wyvern babies are on top floor. New day, tech trials full of food, and the base is full of babies. Dedicated storages for gacha loot. Blue jams are trouble to farm for us, so I use one for it it's super easy and these crop plots made a great addition to our base as a plant z farm so here's another news someone is blowing up my stone structures that means my hidden storages are under attack i don't think i left anything too valuable outside but still i don't like this my precious hidden storages so looks like above discovered my invisible storages and they are attacking everything well about a month or two these mortars survived well i don't know if someone is doing this after they seen my videos about these pillars or it was a genuine discovery so you can't access these mortars when the trap doors are closed but you can damage the mortars with a dino and the bag falls above the trap door so someone destroyed all the mortars here and i think they only had some materials i don't really remember but nothing actually good was left here after i built a two by two in my underwater spot but they missed this one while i'm out i'm just just gonna go and visit all of my invisible storages and collect whatever is left in them so that's all i got i'm taking them in just in case and some enemy tribe build an outpost here to cause some problems for our friends in the oil cave but i got them covered so many wyvern babies looks nice we got some good stats as well 41 weight and 41 stamina is pretty good for starters new batch of baby bacillos will be here very soon just look at how many female bacillos i got this is getting crazy all that dinos need slot cap meat so i got it and slot capped heavy turret let's go this is very nice every turret needs to be slot capped 
This is an underwater base without six times damage. So bullets are very important here. All right, today we have some more Moin farmers to mess with. And this time, there are no farmers living in a raft. They have a teleporter with tech turrets. So we're gonna blow that up. That's quite the timer you got there, farmer. That is a deadly mistake. So I just placed some spam and now I'm gonna place some turrets to be safe while we're soaking and destroying their turrets. Rock Golem is here. Let's start. Well, why is this golem doesn't have full HP? That's bad. All right, one turret is soft. We can't really soak the tech turrets with golems efficiently, so we're gonna get a trike. Also, we will heal these golems with the owl. And the trike is here. Am I doing this right? Our trikes take more damage if it's under their head or something. I'm not sure if I'm taking too much damage. I don't have imprint and I don't have a great saddle. So this might be normal damage. I don't know. I hate trike so look how bad I'm getting shot. My chest is almost broken. And the trike needs healing. I don't want to get it too low, so back to Snow Owl treatment. Golems are healed to half, so let's go again. Tech turrets hit so bad to golems.
We're just gonna wait for this and we take the TP down. I think it's out. If that tech turret is soaked, we can just rush in with the rock collapse and blow the Jenny. But while I'm in a good spot, I'm just gonna soak heavies too. Let's finish this. So it's just that tech turret, I can get close enough and blow the tech generator in here. Let me clear the rest and we get out. Nice, look we got a thousand shards. How about the tech turret? Well, it was almost out. Now the tech teleporter. It's gone, we're done here. And before the day ends, we're gonna do a boss fight real quick. Alright, 255 element in my possession. And I'm back in the base. I think I'm gonna end this episode right here. It's been 7 real life days for the episode 7. And it's little less than 20 minutes. But I think I can just end it here. Because the next day is probably another 10 minutes. And I don't wanna separate the days. And I don't wanna go beyond 20 minutes too much. So, thank you for watching dear watchers. And see you on the next episode. Before you move on to the next one, I appreciate if you subscribe.